Hey everybody, it's Tony Car Stars, and I wanted to do a quick video showing this Assault electric water pump that I got off, uh, I believe it was eBay. And so it's typical big block Chevy water pump, way cheaper than the LS based uh, electric water pumps but then you need to get these adapters right here. So no instructions, of course, on how to uh, plumb the adapters and which way to run the hoses and all that stuff. So real quick, from what I figured, uh, bottom outlet goes to your bottom radiator. That makes sense, right? These two upper outlets have to be interconnected and like in a Y and then sent to the upper radiator. Now I've got this... Uh, AN style fitting on my radiator. So what these are are 12s. So this is a 12, so this is a 1290 AN 1290 and then I'm going to go from 12 to I think 8 and then Y those into this fitting here. So anyway, a lot of problems or people are running into the same problem I'm running into is that these fittings when they come out of this adapter let me get make sure my phone is focused cuz it's been having problems it hits this portion of the casting of the electric water pump. So you would not be able to put your pump where it needs to go because the stupid fitting is going to hit it and keep it from bolting down properly. So what you got to do is you got to grind away some material. Now, luckily, the pump comes apart, and this arm, as you can see, I've, I've ground away. I've ground away way too much on this one because... I had marked it and then I started grinding up here and then it turns out I actually needed some clearance down here. So I've clearanced it. Hopefully this is going to be enough. But as you can see, that's that's there's still plenty of material left there to uh, hold the pump in place and it's not even close to the water passage. So you're in no danger of cutting into the water passage and it doesn't need a ton like this is way too much. Uh, I should have clearanced it more in this area. Instead, I started up here because that's where I had my pen marking and Obviously, it was wrong, but uh, anyway, so I'm going to clearance it down here. I'm going to fit it up, and it should fit because um, this side is like you can barely see a scooch of daylight between it and the pump, and obviously, that's enough, and then I hope to have the same on the other side. Um, so that's about it. I, I've seen other people go with a 45 here where it comes up in a 45, and it doesn't hit this, but I, for the life of me, could not find an AN1245 to save my life. I found some, but they were in either insanely expensive, like I think the only one I found in stock was something ridiculous, like a hundred and something dollars each. So, you know, obviously no. So I went with the 90s, which I could easily get, and they're way, 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 way cheaper. And I think it was like $32 for the pair. Uh, so what, 16 bucks each, which obviously is ridiculous for a fitting, but anyway, you do what you got to do, right? So uh, I'll show you all this when it's all fully assembled, maybe in a different video um, for the run stand. But um, yeah, so just be aware, all these big block electric water pumps are very, 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 very similar. They all kind of are laid out the same, so I think they're all made by the same source and then just branded uh, whatever company is selling it with their brand name on it. This happens to be the Assault. So uh, I hope that's helped somebody to figure out how to plumb this and get this to actually work. I haven't run it yet, obviously, so we'll see if there's any leaks, but hopefully not. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. All right, so I said I'd do it later, and I guess this is later. It's hooked up. Uh, two top hoses going to a brass Y into there, that's three quarter hose. Um, I use that see-through stuff just to make sure that I can actually see liquid coming through there. Um, plus it was easy to just get from the local store and since it's not a permanent setup, it's just a run stand setup, that'll be absolutely fine. Lower hose is hooked up. Of course it was just literally like four inches too short to just use that one section. So I had to use this little adapter and an extra piece of hose I had laying around just to get it hooked to the lower radiator. So yeah, this little this setup's ready to go. Um, this assault pump was a pain in the butt uh, to find all these fittings, and it's a lot of extra money in fittings. 
that you need to get to make these things work. So are you really saving anything over an LS style electric water pump that's made for an LS? You know, it's debatable. So anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Please subscribe.